this uh, KE7 TRP. So this video is going to show the uh, FT2000 uh, with my uh, pan adapter. So here's the uh, Yaesu FT2000. It's on uh, 17 meters. One of my favorite bands. So inside here is the uh, RF Space IF2000 card. It's about $175. It, it installs in the radio in just a few minutes. You just need a Phillips screwdriver. Very simple. Um, the cable kind of snakes out the back of the radio so you don't have to modify anything or drill any holes. And uh, that's going to give you uh, an IF output at 10.55 megahertz. So that uh, that cable with the BNC hooks to an SMA connector, which connects to my SDR radio. The the radio that I have is a, a real cheap um, radio called a Soft 66, and you can buy them on eBay or on the man's website. Um, they're uh, about a hundred dollars, and uh, <clears throat> that is a USB little radio. It looks like about the size of a pack of cigarettes, and it has a USB that hooks up to the computer, and you can run a, a variety of different softwares. But the the one that I like is HDSDR, and I'll uh, I'll kind of zoom in. You can see there's a waterfall at the bottom with the audio scope. And then this is the uh, pan adapter screen. And as I tune, the blue area there is what we're listening to. Now I'm going to turn the VFO of the 2000. And uh, you can see that uh, now we're, we're listening to that signal. So you might wonder what's the signal up there to the right. Well, you can just turn the VFO over there and uh, and turn it in. So this is used for uh, you know uh, spotting signals. Now you can mute this and then turn the volume on the 2000 up. Use the radio as normal and just use this as a scope. You can tune through. 17 meters is obviously a very sh small, short band, and there's not, uh, you know, a whole lot to look at here right now. Now, this software um, hooks up with a with a feature called DDE, uh, Ham Radio Deluxe, which I run to control the 2000 to do logging and uh, and to use the DX cluster. So. Ham Radio Deluxe already has a DDE server and it outputs the frequency data. So on HDSDR, if you just enable that, then you get the uh, the frequency right there, 18.154. And I'm actually off a little. I'll tune the uh, 2000s VFO. That sounds about right. So that way, the span across here is also matching the radio and frequency. So you might think, what's the big, big signal off to the left? Let's go find out. So that's at uh, 18, 134, thereabouts, 135. He was making contact with somebody, and his, we can't hear the other station. So uh, that's... Uh, there he is. I'll zoom in so you can see the his signal. So uh, that's the uh, that's the pan adapter. The way this is going to work is I'm going to have an LCD screen above the radio, an all-in-one um, uh, computer, and then it'll run HRD and then the span scope right above the computer, getting my uh, my desk space back and. And it'll just be for, uh, that computer will just be for ham radio stuff. And uh, this is actually my work laptop here. So that's just a demo of the uh, IF2000 card running into a soft 66 SDR radio using HD SDR software. Hope you guys enjoy it.